Hi, my name is Charles Lawson and you're watching Mind to Market Media. Today I have a rather exciting unboxing for you guys. It's a rather expensive $200,000 sapphire. Now this apparently is a Burmese sapphire. I haven't had a look at it yet, but I'm definitely excited to see how this one goes. So why don't we open it up and see what we've got inside. Here we go. Whoa, now there you go, how's that? That is a very nice piece. Now we've got our little details underneath here. So what have we got about this stone? So blue sapphire, so this is 21 carats this piece. And yep, comes in at 200,000 US dollars. So this, this is a very special piece we have here. So let's take this one out. I get my gloves on, and I get a fingerprint or two on there. Now look at that. So that is, that is a very clean stone, that one. So we've got a almost a slightly tealy kind of gray sort of tint to it on this one. So it's not your traditional cornflower blue, it's more of a kind of a cool steely blue on this one. Now let's give it a bit of a clean because we've got a couple of the fingerprints on there already, but let's have a look. Now it's not often that you get to see a piece of this size, this clarity, this color, but I mean, look at that. Now that, that's a spectacular piece. Now this one is actually also apparently unheated as well. So that actually, you know, takes it one step above just the, the regular heated stones. Now let's have a bit of a look at the cutting on this one. Actually, now that I have it in the tweezers, I can see just how good the clarity on this piece is. So if we go under the loop, I guess we've got a few little veils in there, but I guess to the naked eye, you can't really see the pieces too, the, the, the veils too much, which is good. But the good thing about having those veils in there actually is that it's very easily identifiable as unheated. So if you have a, a super, super clean stone, uh, that's always good, but it does make it a bit more difficult to actually tell if it's been heated or not. Because when there's no inclusions inside the stone to actually give you an indication, uh, you know, there's no clues that will actually tell you if it's been heated or if it hasn't been heated. So having a few inclusions can actually be a good thing, especially when they're not particularly eye visible as is the case here. Now we can see a few little ones as it catches the light, but you know, having a look at the cutting now. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a good polish on there. Meat points aren't too bad. We've got a good depth on it as well. So sometimes with these sorts of ones, you can get a little bit of a window, but literally even like right down to the pavilion on this one, you can't actually really see much of a window. So that's you know keeping a bit more depth of color. It means you're not gonna sort of see through to your hand underneath and it gives you a little bit more sparkle. So look at it from the back. Yep, so we've got a, I mean, this is a, a fairly standard mixed step cut on this one. So we've got that more sort of traditional kind of brilliant style fastening on top. And then we've got the step cuts on the bottom. So it's, how many steps have we got in there? One, two, three, four, five, about six steps. So sometimes you can get them with much more step cut on the bottom, sometimes just a few facets. But this one is your, your trade standard step cut in a nice cushion. And as you might've known from some of my other videos, I'm always quite attracted to the cushion cuts. So you know, it sounds like this are a little bit extra special for me. But this one, yeah, I mean, you, you get, yeah, you get a, quite a few sort of deep blue flashes. You get a few kind of blue green flashes. You get a little bit of steely gray coming through, but generally a, a very even color on this piece. So this is, yeah, a really lovely, I was, I was gonna say a really lovely little stone, but this is a jolly big stone. This one, this is coming in at 21 carats. So yeah, this is quite unbelievable to be holding $200,000 in my hand here, just in this little bit of aluminum oxide with a you know, few parts per million titanium, but there you have it. This is a rather stunning, rather spectacular, unheated Burmese sapphire coming in at not only you know, over 20 carats, but over 21 carats even. So this piece is actually available to purchase as well. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing this piece, we'll put a link in the description below. Otherwise also feel to reach out to us by email. We can uh, put you in contact with the people that are selling this stone. And yeah, I, I'm, I don't wanna put it down now. It's just too sparkly and beautiful, but I have to do that. So as always, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you can, always helps us out. And stay tuned next time and we get to play with some more big sparkly stones. Thank you.